What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. In this one we have some really exciting stuff on this project. We are finishing up our patio prep and laying all of the pavers. We've also got Ant working on some PVC trim details and all of our soffits. So we'll have some helpful tips and tricks as always. Make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. All right, Nate. Yes. New week. New week. Long one, too. We got a full week this week. We got a full week this we got week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Five days. Five days. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. This week, we got a lot of stuff to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of break apart. Okay. Segment off. I'm yep. going to be manhandling Divide this patio. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. I'm going to be manhandling this patio. Okay. You're, so, you're the patio daddy -o. Patio daddy -o here today. I'm gonna work on finishing our base. We're gonna start screening tomorrow. We're gonna start laying pavers. Woo, I laying? think we might, yep, we're laying. I think tomorrow we can probably get all the pavers down okay. because we're using pretty much all slabs. Beautiful. It's gonna go fast. Excellent. You're working on what? I'm gonna concentrate on fascia soffits and rakes. Okay. And trim details, our beams, our PVC. Yeah, we can always just like rendezvous. I'll be here. Yeah, I'm, I'm be here. That's... You're not, and you're not even gonna be in the van. Barely. Yes. Yeah, patio daddy already. Love to see for it, business. man. Love to see it. All right, so goal by the end of the week, you're gonna have PVC trim from the beam up. Yeah, I would love finished to. Yep. soffits done, yep. all of that. That would be beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna have the patio finished up. Okay. Uh, we also have this small retaining wall. I will okay. get on that. We'll finish that. Yep. And uh, we also possibly have a doorstone coming. So what? maybe we get to a little bit of that. But uh, I think we should be good. Deck down and beam up. 100. percent and then we just have middle ground. Yep, 100%. That's, All a, right. that's a good goal. Sick. Awesome. Let's go. All right. <laughs> So let's just go little by little and uh, we'll make sure that we're good. Remember, we're pitching two inches this way, so uh, we should be, once it's beeping, sticking the beepy thing, should be like about three and a half inches off the ground at that point. So, cool. All right, so yeah, I guess let's, uh, let's check this whole width, okay. whole run here, and then we can check this outside edge. Uh, wherever a full one comes out here, okay. so uh, this, yeah, yep, 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 yep. A little low here. It looks like all in here is kind of a little low. Okay. A little low there, too? Yeah. You sure that you did it the right way? Yeah. You sure? getting our screed bed set up and we have our laser set at eight inches below our bottom step tread. So that is gonna leave two inches for our paver. Our pavers are two and three eighths, but we can get them down once we compact about a quarter inch. So if we have to go a little lower, we can force them down, but that's usually where we like to stay at, two inches below our finished grade for our screed rails. And we're just going straight across here. This is all level and we're pitching in this direction. So with our screed poles, which are 10 feet, we're basically just pitching it two inches. So we can reset this two inches lower and then we know that everything is really nice and flat and it's pitching in the right direction. With this 3A stone, it's really nice and flat and we wanna take our time on this step because this is gonna dictate our final surface. So the nice thing about using this 3 8 stone as our setting bed is it doesn't have to be exactly as uniform as a sand base needs to be where you want that to be a perfect one inch thick setting bed. This, if we have some areas that are maybe an inch and a half, some areas that are inch and three quarter, it's not a huge deal. This is gonna bear that weight a lot better and you're not gonna have depressions once you start to compact it and uh, get to your finished grade. So we'll finish this up and uh, 
we'll be good to go. Start laying pavers. Let's check in on eight. All right, eight. What do we got going on? Whoa, hey. <laughs> What's exciting? We're actually like on all our finishes now. Yeah, we're doing pretty good over there. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good over here. Uh, cool. So we're on our soffits. So our soffits, our rakes, our eaves, all our trim details. So the first thing you need to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here because uh, it's already makes me feel uncomfortable how much taller you are than me. Yeah. So uh, I don't like this. That's fine. You can handle this. Uh huh. All right. So we have our fascia right here, and we're gonna install a soffit and then we're gonna do a PVC trim detail. So the first thing you need to do is you level across on both ends, snap a line. That line, you can install some wood to accept your J channel, which accepts your soffit, which accepts your metal, and then you can put your PVC on it. So initially what we're trying to do here is, this soffit is a rough cut. This metal cleans that cut up, and then we're putting white three quarter PVC to finish it off, be a nice clean look, pretty standard, nothing special about it. I have a question. What? How come this isn't vented? Because there's no insulation or anything. Oh, okay. It's just to finish it off. Right. Carry on. That's it. And that's pretty much it. As we move this way, it should be seven blue grandes and then uh, our border, and that should put us right at 12 feet, almost okay. exactly. So then uh, we'll be good there, all full pieces here, all fulls and halves here, and then as we go that way, we're just going to end on the last full or half okay. at that side. So it's probably gonna go past the step, uh, hopefully roughly one full piece um, is what we have planned. So. We'll just start here and then we can bing, bang, boom. Click. You think you can lift these pavers? By my hands. With the help of me, you're gonna be on one side of the <laughs> paver sucker cool. 3000. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got it. Going up for it? All right. Eight team. Patio Daddio and Concrete Kathy laying slabs. Let's go. Shout out to uh, Sean Cobb. Shout out to Sean Cobb, leaving us a comment on a previous video telling us that we should put latex gloves underneath of our work gloves if it's cold. Works really well. We're gonna have Tom and Jose set us up with pavers right on our little staging area. Then we can pick them up with the Paver Sucker 3000, put them into place, and this should go pretty quick. <laughs> MCC, this is Patio Daddio. We're gonna need Eagle One up in the air. this laid we have a couple slabs that are kind of kicked up a little bit at the end so we're just lifting those up we're gonna make some slight uh, adjustments with our screed bed so that they're sitting nice and uh, flat me time now we're gonna start talking about the PVC trim come on okay what's up everybody time for the good stuff the PVC trim so we wrap our beams our soffits and our fit and our rakes all with PVC material one by material what we like to do is I'll install the bottom first, and then my sides. And I, I like to leave my sides down like a quarter inch. It gives it a nice little shadow look. It's a very common detail. So right here, we have this beam ready to go. So the first thing I gotta do is get a measurement, install my bottom, and I'll install my two sides. And it's pretty much finished. Over here, you can see that it's a little short. It's so that we can still do our ceiling material, and then we're gonna put a another piece of PVC trim. I call it a shadow board. It's a nice, clean, subtle detail. We love to put it in when we can. Um, yeah, check back. So we're cut, ready for the install. Huh, crap, look at the time. 
time with Tony. So I have this piece of PVC here. It's about 12 foot long. PVC is very flexible. It wants to bend, it wants to fall. So how am I gonna hold this without any help? There's nobody here. I always like to keep sinkers, eight penny nails in my pouch, mainly for this reason. Drive a nail, roughly where the material is gonna go. You can slide it in, It'll hold it for me. You can nail it up. The more you know. on our border now it's edge restraint time you know the deal we put concrete we reinforce it with these fibers you can get them on amazon we get them on amazon check out our store they'll be in there we might get a penny or two anyway so we laid down this geo grid under the border and now under the edge restraint so it's really locked in it's going to be grabbed down there it's an extra step we like to take an extra step just to make sure that everything is good and locked in and done forever it'll be there it's not going to move that's it Now that the patio is done, our next step here, we're gonna be building a bench off the front of the kitchen. So Tom's working on that. We're gonna frame this out. Front of it's gonna be decorators. Uh, top's gonna to also be decorators. And then the whole outdoor kitchen, uh, we're gonna have a door and stone on that. Speaking of outdoor kitchen, let's show you the inside of this. Tom did a lot of work on this. We didn't cover it too much. So we'll show you how we did it. All right, so let's show you how we build these outdoor kitchens. It's pretty simple, essentially. We're building it all out of pro wood, pressure treated lumber. Uh, this way we can frame our openings exactly how we want. It's super easy. And then we've got some pressure treated plywood on the outside, layer house wrap, layer of 30 pound belt and that's going to accept our adorned stone veneer on the front what we like to do is just cover everything with uh, our decorators boards because almost everything's covered with appliances so you see not much of it is exposed but it looks freaking awesome we like to do it this way because it's super easy to customize anything that we want we can just frame up exactly how we need it we can do custom things like this nice little table section that's going to be here countertop's going to go over this whole thing uh we'll throw another piece of decorator shirt on the front of this and uh you know we can just build whatever we want to the dimensions we want, totally customize it. It's super easy, it's long lasting, and uh, most of all, it's gonna look amazing. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. You can see we have some of this adorned stone going up on our exterior fireplace wall. In the next one, we are going to finish all of that adorned stone. We're gonna be doing inside of the fireplace, installing a huge linear, fire pit burner thing we're gonna be finishing the outdoor kitchen we hopefully have countertops coming we'll get to the decking on the main deck area this thing's getting really close and also shout out to Yellen he commented on the last video he wanted 4k for these vlogs so you can watch it on the big screen so let us know what you think but make sure you hit subscribe stay tuned and until next time this is premier outdoor living